What's up, guys? It's Chloe Grace Moretz here. I'm actually here in Ann Arbor, Michigan today at a field office, and I want to show you what's inside. Now, it's a little quiet. It's usually not this quiet, but everyone is out registering new voters today, which is super exciting, but uh, let's head inside, and I'll show you what's going on. Hey, Chloe, you want to play 21 questions? Yeah, sure. We're in a college town. That's something people do. Hi. Hey, Chloe. Good morning. Hey. <laughs> Ready to start? Yes. Okay, number one, what's the best piece of advice you've ever received? It was actually from Hillary Clinton. She looked at me and she said, I love how feisty you've been, so please just stay feisty. What's one thing you can't live without? My dog, Pearl. What's your go-to coffee order? A large black Americano, super strong. <laughs> what's your favorite TV show of all time? House of Cards, because politics. <laughs> what's your favorite movie of all time? Breakfast at Tiffany's. What's a movie that made you cry? Sleep is in Seattle. What is the greatest thing you've ever done? One of the greatest things I've ever done, I would say, is speak at the DNC. What's the best thing about the internet? The best thing about the internet is that you can really speak your mind and no one can stop you. What's the worst thing about the internet? That you can speak your mind and no one can stop you, and therefore you don't really quite know the repercussions of bullying and stuff like that. Who should everybody be following on social media? Oh, Hillary Rodham Clinton. <laughs> if you had one superpower, what would it be? Telepathy. What's one cause you feel passionately about? Um, being able to support the LGBT community because I have two brothers who are gay. If you could switch lives with anyone for a day, who would it be? Michelle Obama, obviously. But this is also very cool because I was at the DNC and holding this up screaming and crying. <laughs> What are you doing November 8th? Uh, November 8th, I'm obviously going to be voting in the general election for Hillary Clinton. Why should women vote? Women should vote because we fought for the right to vote for so long, and it would feel really wrong to not vote for our very first female candidate. Why should young people vote? Young people should vote for the same reason, but also because we have a lot to lose. If we want Hillary to win, we need to vote. Have you met Hillary Clinton? Yes, I met her three years ago, and actually when I met her, it was on her book tour, and I just stood there, and Huma Abedin was in the corner, and I remember looking at her, and I couldn't stop myself from just starting to cry and sob, but it was like this beautiful, like, you're such an icon and a pillar of, like, respect and, and eloquence that uh, I can't stop myself from crying. <laughs> but since then, I've calmed down. I, I don't have to cry in front of her. <laughs> what are three words you would use to describe her? Um, confident, strong, and eloquent. How can someone get involved with the campaign in Michigan? Uh, you can actually text MI to 47246 and get all the campaign updates, or you can go to hillaryclinton.com backslash events, and you can find a bunch of volunteering opportunities near you. When's the deadline to register to vote in Michigan? October 11th, which is really serious, because if you're actually not registered before October 11th, you're not going to be able to, even if you want to, vote in the general election. And how can someone register to vote in Michigan? Iwillvote.com. More than Michigan, everywhere in the world, well, everywhere in the, in the country, you can register to vote and check your registry and make sure that all your friends and family are registered. All right, we'll call you. Ready to go register some voters right now? I mean, yeah, of course. That's what we're here to do, right? <laughs>